Good morning. That light. That's bad. <clears throat> um, good morning. So, I kind of had this thought today that I would make this video. And I have been my goal for 2021. Um, if you didn't know, like if you didn't watch our goals video, um, is to read 20 books this year. And it is February 4th, I think. I think it's February 4th. It's February 4th. And I'm already through eight. So um, I kind of thought I could share what I am reading and talk about them a little bit if that's something you're interested in. I don't know. Um, I just thought it could be more content, something I could talk about. I like knowing what other people are reading. Um, and I can like warn you if a book isn't that great or something. I don't know. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do today. First of all, I have to get ready. I'm still in my PJs, my robe. I have to warm up my coffee again because I don't know about y'all, but I'm like a super slow coffee drinker. And I have to warm mine up like three times, basically, before I finish it. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to get ready. I am um, listening to my favorite podcast. That sounds fun with Annie F. Downs. If you haven't listened to it before, listen to her. She's awesome. Um, yeah. I'll get ready and then we can talk about books. coffee popped up I thought I got it on myself which I do that like all the time um here we are welcome to book talk with Addie I look very studious right now with the <clears throat> cream colored um what are these called turtlenecks turtleneck and my coffee my overalls my hair pulled back with my glasses I fit the part. I'm ready to talk about books. Um, yeah, so like I said, I have read eight books so far. Well, okay, technically seven and a couple of chapters, but one of the books I was reading carried from 2020 into 21, and I am counting that as one of my 2021 books, and you can't stop me. No one can tell me otherwise. Um, so that book, we'll just go through. Oh, I also want to talk about what I'm currently reading. Hang on, just a second. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, I'm back. Okay, so first, what I started in 2020 and finished in 21 is um, You Are the Girl for the Job by Jess Connolly. I love this book so much. I. I thought it was incredible, just did a wonderful job, and it's just a book that is calling you to step into what God has created you for, and to get rid of the fear, to get rid of the expectations that you put on yourself, because we can't do it in our own power. It's all God's power. Yeah, and really just stepping into what God has for you. And this book was perfect for me during the timing because I was working on my book proposal, um, with Lisa Turker's book proposal boot camp, and that was hard and intimidating and scary. And there were several times where I was crying, trying to figure out is this actually what God has called me to do. 
Um, and yes, it is. And so this book was perfect. So if you are getting ready to like, well, any phase in life, but if you're like getting ready to go to college or you're wondering what to do with your life, you're wondering where you're called to, stepping into a new career, whatever it is, I highly recommend this book. And it really just feels like she's sitting down and talking to you as a friend. It's awesome. Okay, the next several books I read all on my library app. Um, so if you are wanting to read more and you don't wanna buy books, check with your library and see if they have an app for iPad or Kindle or whatever, um, because I would just check out the books on the app and it worked out perfectly. Really, really convenient and then I wasn't like going out and spending $20 every time I wanted to read a new book. The next several books that I read, seven to be exact, <clears throat> are um, fiction. So, yeah, and I'm reading nonfiction currently. I just haven't finished those yet. So the next several books are fiction. The first one that I started was Murder on the Orient Express, which had been made into a movie that I had not seen yet, but I wanted to read the book before I saw the movie because that's typically what I like to do. Now, I don't know if I'll watch the movie. The book was... I didn't hate it, but I didn't like love it. I thought it was intriguing. The premise of it was very interesting. Um, just so they are all stuck on this train. Someone gets murder, murdered and a detective and the owner of that particular train is investigating. And it goes through like all of the interviews of everybody, who they talk to, what their predictions are. Um, and then the, and he connects it all. And I, I don't know, the end of it, I was surprised, but I didn't feel like it was a good surprise. It felt a little bit ridiculous to me. And you find out who did it, and then it's just like, okay, that's it. And it ends. It just didn't, it tried to have shock value, and the shock value was, I, I don't know. I just thought it was okay. I'm glad that I read it, um, but I didn't just, like, love it. Um, and I will say that the that reading it is a little bit difficult if you're not used to, this used to this particular kind of writing. I was not, so sometimes it was a little bit hard to follow. Um, there was a lot of dialogue in it and it wouldn't always tell you who was saying what it felt like and so sometimes I would have to go back up and look okay who is this talking I don't know it was just eh, it was just okay um, yeah so the next book that I read is The Waterkeeper by Charles Martin he was on Annie's podcast which I showed you guys earlier um, several weeks ago and I was like oh cool I will go and read one of his books I've never read anything by him and the waterkeeper oh my gosh so good so intense he is a Christian author but um, in this book it's also fiction in this book he didn't really ever explicitly talk about God there were Christian themes woven into it, but it wasn't, he never like explicitly was like, and I was praying, da 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 da. <clears throat> it wasn't like that at all. And sometimes Christian fiction books can be a little bit cheesy, and this was not cheesy at all. It was intense. So intense. If you, if you do not like, this was a little bit graphic too, um, because he, the main character is basically, um, undercover hi the main character basically goes undercover to rescue women who are being trafficked and so it could get uh, pretty gruesome at times so if you don't like stuff like that then I would not recommend reading this book um, but I loved this book so much it kept me on the edge of my seat the entire time um, twists and turns that I didn't expect. There were a couple of things that I was like, what are you, that's kind of stupid. I don't think you would actually do that in real life. Um, he basically is, I don't think this ruins anything. Spoiler alert, but I'm not really ruining anything. It's the whole entire book. Um, he's helping a woman find her daughter who, um, 
was taken. Um, at one point, he takes the mother with him into this house where uh, the traffickers had been at one point. Um, and I was like, really, you're going to take her in there with you? One, that's not safe. Like, if someone is still in there or something happens, like, why are you taking this woman that has no training? Why are you taking her in there? Um, and two, like, you don't want her, if, some, if her daughter's in there and something's wrong, you don't want her to see her like that. Anyway, so there were a couple of little things like that that I was just like, that's ridiculous. You wouldn't actually do that in real life. You shouldn't do that in real life. Um, but overall, the book is amazing. Absolutely incredible. And <clears throat> he is writing, like, it's going to be a series I think at least three books. Um, so I'm looking forward to the next ones. I don't know when they come out, but I'm looking forward to them. Okay. And then, so I don't know about y'all, but I really, really love to go back and read books that I read when I was younger. I really love to read books that I read when I was in high school and stuff because I like to see, um, I don't know. I just enjoy it. I am very nostalgic in some areas and books is one of the areas I'm nostalgic in. And so... I decided to go through the Percy Jackson series again. I loved them. Um, it, and it's also really funny too because I'll go back and read books that I read um, in high school or even in middle school. And um, they're really good. And then I just think they could be even better if the author went back and rewrote them for like young adults or adults. Like just rewrote them and... Yeah, I don't know. So Percy Jackson felt the same to me. Like they're super good and entertaining. And then I feel like the author could even go back and rewrite them all for adults and it would make it even better and you could get more intense and more into it and stuff like that. So um, <clears throat> I read all of them in like a week and a half. There's five of them, read them all. <clears throat> um, why? I don't know. I just, I just wanted to throw it back. I just wanted to, I don't know, just speak to my sweet, sweet heart. And so, yeah, I read them all. I'm not gonna review them, each and every one of them. Um, because in all honesty, a 25 year old doesn't necessarily need to be reading teenage, I think they're called like teen fiction or something. I don't need to be reading them. I just read them sometimes because I enjoy <clears throat> throwing it back. Um, so those are what I read through January. What I am currently reading, I need to find another fiction book to read. I might read, Charles Martin has several books, so I might go in. Sit. Um, I might just go see what some of his other books are and read those um, because I really enjoyed his writing, but I don't know yet. So right now I'm currently reading two nonfiction books. The first one is Welcoming the Future Church. Um, I think I'm on like page 100. I kind of paused for a little while because I got, <laughs> I got distracted by Percy Jackson. Um, and so, yeah, this is by J.P. Pakluda, Jonathan Pakluda, J.P. And it, if you are a leader in the church or in some type of ministry, <clears throat> I would really recommend this because it talks about how to engage with millennials. And I would say even older Gen Z um, and how to speak to them and minister to them and get them involved. Since I'm a youth pastor and like on staff at the church, I wanted to read this book recommended by my brother. Um, it's really good. So, and it's not very long, pretty simple read. Um, the next is Lisa Turker's Forgiving What You Can't Forget. And, um, I'm reading this with a friend so that we can like hold each other accountable and talk about forgiveness because all of us have something that we need to forgive in our life. Like we've all been hurt in some way at some point, whether it's a little bitty hurt or a really big hurt. Um, and so far I really like this. I'm only on the third chapter, but I, um, I really like the way Lisa writes. <clears throat> and um, she is not just saying like forgive and forget about it, like it didn't happen, <clears throat> but forgive so that you can release yourself from the burden, but that doesn't mean not holding the person accountable. And I really like that she's making that distinction because some, 
there are some times where boundaries need to be drawn, um, where the person does need to be held accountable for whatever it is they may be that they did, whether that's like in your family or even like legally they need to be held accountable. Um, so she makes that distinction. And um, I'm really looking forward to seeing where the rest of this book goes. Thank you for joining. I don't remember what I called it. What Addie's reading talk. Um, and Murray enjoyed it too, didn't you? So yeah, that's what's going on. Um, if you have any book recommendations, if you have any book recommendations, please comment below. Um, and I would love to read them. I feel like this will help hold me accountable for reading, actually reading 20 books this year. <clears throat> Cause last year I didn't complete. I think I got to like 14 or something. So. Thank you for joining. Have a great day.